a really fun video for you because I am going to show you how to make three delicious lunch recipes all in under 10 minutes or less. I know that we all struggle getting a healthy lunch on our plate, especially if we're working full time, juggling kids, trying to get out the door for school. So today I'm giving you no excuse recipes. These all, like I said, take less than 10 minutes to make. They are gluten-free, they are plant-based, and they are delicious. I'm really excited to also be partnering with Lindsay from The Toasted Pine Nut. We both created three different 10 minute lunch recipes, so make sure to go on over to her channel when you're done watching this video and get her delicious recipes. Her recipes are so awesome. They cover a variety of dietary needs, so there is definitely something for everyone on her channel, and I can't wait to hear what you think of her recipes. I have left Lindsay's information in the description box below, so you can get the link to her YouTube channel as well as to her video. So definitely, like I said, make sure to hop on over there when you're done watching this video. As with all of my videos, I have included the recipes in the description box below for you, so you can get all of the links which are on my blog. They have the instructions, the ingredient list, more photos, everything you need to make these recipes. So make sure to tap those links in the description box. And other than that, let's go ahead and dive in. So we'll start with our kale salad and we are going to begin by toasting some walnuts as well as some quinoa in a toaster oven for about five to six minutes. Just kind of spread them evenly into a layer and then pop them in the toaster oven. Then we will move on to finally chopping up our kale. You can use dinosaur kale like I'm doing here, or you can use curly kale, that's up to you. And make sure to keep those stems because they're great in smoothies or in juices. Then add them into a bowl and move on to the Brussels sprouts. The Brussels sprouts we are going to shred with a mandolin slicer. I just peel the outer layers of the Brussels sprouts off and then use my mandolin slicer to slice them into very thin shreds. And repeat this until you've used all of your Brussels sprouts and then you can add in your walnuts and quinoa once those are done toasting and move on to your dressing. We're making a really simple dressing for this salad. It's just olive oil, lemon juice, the juice of a whole lemon, as well as some apple cider vinegar, some raw honey, as well as some salt and pepper. And then you can just whisk this all together until it's completely smooth and creamy. And go ahead and pour it over your salad ingredients. And using salad tongs, just toss this all together until all of the ingredients are evenly coated in the dressing. From there, you're ready to serve it up. I like to bulk this salad up a little bit for lunchtime by adding chickpeas. These are just cooked chickpeas tossed in some paprika and some salt, and they add a really nice boost of protein and make the salad a bit more filling. This also does do well for meal prep, so you can definitely meal prep it. It keeps for a couple days in the fridge, and of course you could always add more dressing if you want, and you could use whatever type of protein you'd like. Our second recipe is for curry chickpea wraps, and we're gonna start by making our dressing, which has a base of coconut yogurt. And then we're also adding in some tahini, as well as some lemon juice, some curry powder, garlic powder, salt and pepper, and just stir this all together until it's smooth and creamy. I, I like to taste this before adding this into my chickpeas so that you can adjust the spice level for, for your own taste buds. So definitely do that. And then once you have it to the right texture and flavor, add about a tablespoon or two into a bowl of chickpeas. These are just chickpeas that have been drained and rinsed. It's a full can. And then using a fork or a potato masher, just mash these up until they are still kind of chunky but somewhat smooth. We're looking for the texture similar to tuna salad and that's exactly what we're making. We're making a mock tuna salad using chickpeas. So once you have the right texture, you can add in the rest of your dressing and then again, just stir it all together until the dressing is fully incorporated and the mixture is going to become pretty thick but creamy. And then I like to add in some chopped scallions or green onions as well as some chopped parsley. It adds a really nice flavor, a really nice color, and it also adds a nice texture. So I definitely recommend that. From there, again, just fold it all together and then we are ready to assemble our wraps. So I'm using some Boston bib lettuce leaves here. You could also use romaine leaves or collard wraps or just regular wraps. And I scoop about a half cup of the mixture onto my wraps. And then I top it with some scallions and some fresh parsley as well as a drizzle of tahini. You guys know I'm a sucker for tahini drizzle. And then that's all you have to do. I like to eat two or three of these for lunchtime. I find that they're really filling, they're really packed with fiber and they taste awesome. Mm -hmm. 
And for our final recipe, we are making our Mediterranean tostadas. We're gonna start by adding some chopped cucumber, as well as some chopped tomato, some chopped olives, some minced shallot, and some chopped parsley into a bowl. Set that aside and move on to your dressing. Your dressing is some olive oil, lemon juice, salt, and pepper, super simple. And then whisk that together until it's smooth and pour it over your salad ingredients. Then just stir the salad all together and we are going to set this aside, let it marinate for a little while while we make our tortillas. For the tortillas, I like to use corn tortillas. You can use any tortillas that you like. You can either do this in a toaster oven or on a skillet like I'm doing. You can also bake them. You can do them on a grill or an open flame. But here is how you do it in a pan. I like to spray it down with a little cooking spray, then add my tortilla on there and cook the tortilla on either side for three to four minutes until it's nice and crispy. From there, we are ready to assemble. So use your crispy tortilla and then do a generous dollop of hummus. This is adding some protein, but it's also going to help the salad stick to the tortilla a little bit better. Spread it out in an even layer. I like to do about two tablespoons of hummus per tortilla and then top these tortillas with about a half a cup of that salad mixture. From there, you can do again another drizzle of tahini. It's amazing with this recipe. It goes so well with the flavors. A crack of fresh pepper and a little bit of parsley to garnish, and then you're good to go. If you are making these for meal prep, I recommend that you keep everything separate until you're ready to eat because the salad can make the tortillas a little bit soggy. But again, make sure to check the blog post because I've given you some more customizable options and I talk a little bit more about how to use these for meal prep. And there you have it, my friends. I hope you enjoyed today's lunch-inspired video. I hope that you try these recipes and definitely make sure to let me know if you do. I personally think that my favorite are those tostadas. They are so good and they are so simple to make. So as always, you can share a photo with me on Instagram by tagging at simplyquinoa or using hashtag simplyquinoa. That honestly just helps me easily find your photo and helps me give you a comment, give you some like, show you some love in return. I also just wanna thank Lindsay for joining us in today's video. Now that you have seen all of my lunch inspired recipes, make sure to hop on over to her channel so that you can watch her video. Her recipes look so awesome and you guys are going to love them. I have put all of her info in the description box below for you as well so you can get that right down below this video. Other than that, I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, tap that red button right below this video. That will subscribe you. I am here every Tuesday and Friday sharing brand new content. So I will see you next Tuesday with another brand new video. Bye guys.